Hey everyone, I'm Miss Maria from Food Corps, and today we're going to be roasting butternut squash. The squash we have here today is pretty dirty, so we're going to wash it. Our first step before we start cooking is to wash our hands. You can check out our video about hand washing here. When you roast your squash, you're going to need a few tools. You'll need a baking sheet, a spoon to scoop out the flesh, a knife, and a cutting board. And you'll need a grown-up to help you with this because knives are very sharp. We're going to be cutting our squash in half this way and this way. When we're using a knife, we need to be very careful because we don't want to cut ourselves. You never want to put your fingers in front of the blade of the knife. Notice how I'm holding the squash still so it doesn't wiggle around while I cut. Keep your fingers out of the way the whole time. You might have to turn the squash to cut all the way through, but just make sure that your fingers are out of the way the whole time. Look at that beautiful orange color. Now I'm gonna turn the squash over so I can cut it the other way. I'm going to press down on the top of the knife to cut it this way because that part is not sharp. And look how easy it cuts. Remember, you can hold the squash if you need to. Just keep your hands out of the way of the blade. Perfect. Doesn't the inside of this look kind of like a tree? Now I'm just going to place all my pieces on a cooking sheet face up. The squash cooks at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes. Remember, always have a grown-up help you when you're using the oven. Look how soft this flesh is now that it's cooked. Now we're going to leave the squash to completely cool before doing the next step. Now we're going to take out the seeds. We don't need them for this recipe. Um, there are other recipes that do use the seeds though. I'm just using my spoon to scoop out the seeds and all the other insides and putting it on the side. Okay, now that the seeds are out of the way, we're just scooping the flesh with our spoon and putting it into the bowl. I'm also peeling back this layer here because we want a smooth texture. And the inside is smoother. You could probably just use your hands to peel the skin off instead of using a spoon. I think I'll just try that instead for the rest of the pieces.
Now that we have all the flesh from the squash in a bowl, I'm just using a spoon here to mash it up and make it nice and smooth. This might take a few minutes, but there's no rush. You can also pull out any of the pieces of skin that we missed earlier. Look how smooth it is now. This is the perfect texture. Make sure you watch our next video because we're going to show what we're making with this.